You like potato, and I like potato. Welcome back. So I'm at my, I guess this is plot number six of mine. Uh, this is a community plot. I haven't really grown anything here at all, ever. I've barely done any work. I've just kind of put up some strings to demarcate the borders for it. It's full of weeds, as you can tell. The soil's really rocky. It's pretty marginal growing conditions, so I think it'll be pretty good for potatoes. We're going to do a potato bed here. I've already kind of cordoned off this area within the garden up with string here to mark where I want my bed. It's about three feet wide and maybe, I would say, about 25 feet long, give or take. Maybe a little less, maybe 24 feet long. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to try to do two rows. I'm going to do potatoes in one row along here and then another row about two feet apart on the other side of this, on this string here. And potatoes, they like to mound. I've got a couple techniques I'm going to go over. I'm going to try to use some straw. But the first thing I'm going to do to make it easy is I'm going to cut a trench here and then a trench here. And I'll leave a nice dirt mound and we're going to push some of that soil back over onto the potatoes once they're planted. I'm of course going to fertilize it first. But, and then at the very end the straw will go on. But I'll show you exactly how I'm going to mound it. But the first step here is I'm just going to draw back some of the soil and make a little trench. And I brought along our friend for our little project. So we'll see how well this thing does. Let's take a look. So I'm going to start trenching this. But I'm going to start here. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to want to have a ridge in the center separating them and then a big ridge where I pull the soil back for the trench. And that'll let me push some soil back onto the potatoes once they're planted. But I'll demonstrate. I'll just work my way down. Now you see the trench, that's where the potato tubers, which become potatoes, that's where they grow. And this soil, as you can tell, is really hard packed. I'm having a tough time cutting through it. So I'm going to try to make that trench extra deep so I can use straw in place of some of this hard packed clay. We'll see how it does, but i got to work my way down and dig this a little bit deeper first. So I'm going to attack it from the other side. Let's see what happens. So this is pretty well dug out now. It's hard soil. I pulled some real bricks out of there. But anyway, it's tiring too. So I'm going to put the potatoes in soon. I'm going to finish just making a few more preparations. Then I'm going to put the potatoes in. This side of the bed looks pretty good. I got to finish what I'm doing and go down the other side 
it'll be about a foot and a half to two feet apart. There's going to be a ridge separating them. I'm going to leave this sort of back wall that's near me as well. So it'll be sort of like a ridge, trench, ridge, trench, ridge. And the potatoes will go in the trenches, fertilize them a little bit, maybe backfill a little bit of dirt on top, and then we put the straw on. But I first got to finish doing the other trench. So wish me luck.